Welcome to the Mississippi Minute. After months of campaigning, election day is right around the corner and the two candidates are pulling out all the stops. The biggest name in American politics today came out to Mississippi to rally support for Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves just days before election day. But first, Attorney General Jim Hood refused to stand up to National Democrats at a recent press conference. Trying to break into the media coverage surrounding the Trump rally, Jim Hood held a dueling press conference just blocks away from the Bancorp South Arena in Tupelo. While Hood said he welcomed President Trump to Mississippi, he was mum when asked about the National Democrats' recent impeachment vote. Jim, with the rally here in Tupelo, I suspect that impeachment will be brought up with that investigation going on. Do you have any comments on the impeachment investigation? The House took another step. You know, I, I don't have a vote on that issue. Uh, that's an issue that I can't do anything about. That we, we've seen some polling that shows that more than half of Mississippians oppose impeachment. It's a very tight governor's race. Do you feel like that issue will play any kind of part, whether you comment on it or Lieutenant Governor comments on it? Uh, you know, I, I don't I don't know what, what, what uh, the, the pundits will say about it. Um, As a note, Hood endorsed Hillary Clinton in 2016 over Donald Trump, which the president later addressed at the rally. Making a highly anticipated trip to Mississippi, President Donald J. Trump drew thousands to a rally in Tupelo. During his speech, President Trump made a stark contrast between the two candidates, reiterating his support for Tate Reeves in his race for governor and urging Mississippians to vote on Tuesday for the only candidate who will work with him as president. That's why you have to go with Tate Reeves. You know, Tate's going to send, Tate's going to send a big signal, by the way. It's a big signal. It's great for you. He's going to be a great governor. It also sends a big signal to these radical left crazy Democrats. It's very important that Tate wins. Very important. Now, all I know about Jim Hood is he fought very hard to elect Crooked Hillary Clinton and Barack Hussein Obama. Isn't that nice? He wanted Obama to win so badly, and then he wanted Hillary to win, and that's not the kind of guy we need here, not in Mississippi. When the choice was Donald J. Trump or Crooked Hillary, Jim Hood stood with Hillary Clinton. And today, with the election just days away, I'm standing with President Donald Trump. Back on the campaign trail, Tate Reeves traveled throughout northeast Mississippi the day after the Trump rally with those he calls his A-team, his wife and their three girls. Kicking off the day bright and early in Prentice County, Reeves and his family joined folks at a few breakfast stops and local businesses in Marietta before heading to what Belmont folks call the Tate Reeves campaign headquarters to meet with supporters. The Reeves family also made stops in Corinth at the American Legion's benefit for the local animal shelter and at the dinner bell for a quick lunch with supporters. Heading over to New Albany, Reeves and his family toured the growing downtown businesses, making sure to stop by Sugary's Bakery to get some sweets, before heading out for their final stop of the day at the Vardaman Sweet Potato Festival. With Election Day just days away, Mississippians will have an important choice to make about the direction of our state and our country, either voting for a candidate who refuses to stand up to National Democrats and their liberal agenda, or voting for a candidate who stands with Mississippi and the president. Until next time, live from the campaign trail, I'm Renee Easy with the Mississippi Minute.